BTP, big business technology for small business. Good morning. Welcome to BTP. This is Michael Jenkins. How are you for this week? I want to talk to you about cybersecurity today. What do you think about when you think about cybersecurity? Are you thinking about crime? Are you thinking about hacking, malware, hackers, the dark web? All these strange things get concocted up when you think about cybersecurity. I want you to think about something else. I want you to think about your antivirus, your backup, disaster recovery plan, business continuity plan. I want you to think about passwords, who has access to your network, what permissions have they got on your network. I want you to think about who's plugged in what. Is there something in that top drawer with a cable hanging out of it that shouldn't be there that someone's plugged in? Is there a USB key floating around the office that shouldn't be there? I want you to think about those things. I want you to also think about an IT audit, or a security audit, or a penetration test, or a password test. I want you to think about disaster recovery testing, continuity testing, all of these things. That's the real side of cybersecurity I want you to think about, because that's the stuff that lets the first lot of stuff, the hackers, the malware, things like that, into your systems. Now, something people are not aware of, um, some of you maybe, BTP. We're right into the cybersecurity, we're right into the forensics, We've had quite a few um, discussions with SAPOL, with the local police, and we've done quite a lot of investigations tracing through of these things. We've also recovered a lot of people from cybersecurity issues, and we've got a top list of things that kind of lets the nasties in. Biggest one is passwords. Second one is users clicking things they should not be clicking. And then the third thing is the cleanup side of things people don't realize, if you get a major cybersecurity issue on your network, you could be sending staff home for long service leave for four or five days. It's gonna cost you thousands in downtime, lost sales, lost communications. You may lose all your email. You might have staff who, they can't get to those commitments they had, they can't read their calendars and their, and their diaries and all that kind of thing. There's a big cost to cybersecurity. Big, big, big to business. It actually impacts your business, not just the fact you gotta call in the IT guy, to recover from backups. Now think about that, have good backups, okay? You cannot rely on that one backup that you have that sits there for five days every day, every day of the week. You need to have some form of backup that is off-site, remote, not plugged in. You need to have something which can't be encrypted or held to ransom. You need to think of these things. Now at BTP, we'll have a chat to you about these things. We'll talk to you about it. We'll go through the cybersecurity threats We'll explain to you what a ransomware is, or a crypto miner. People haven't heard of crypto miners. Or what a Bitcoin is, or why you shouldn't really have these threats if you follow the basic rules. Now, the thing to remember, how and why do these things get on your network? All right, because you've got a weak link somewhere. Hackers don't like going after targets that are hard to crack. Unless you're the FBI or the CIA and they want to make a name for themselves, they don't try and tackle those things because they're hard to crack. It takes hours and days and years to get into those things. They want to take those that are unprotected, the easiest to crack into, those with the weakest passwords, those with uh, whatever it might be on their router open to allow remote access into the network, that kind of thing. You need to make your business hard to crack. You need to do things like have data leak prevention. Stop that word file going out that has the words confidential internal only to stop people copying to USB drives. Sure, you can still use USB mice and keyboards, but you can't copy stuff to USB drives. We can help you with all of that. We get asked all the time, what should we be doing in our business? It's just so simple. Policies and procedures for your staff to follow. Things where they know where they sit. Things where they know that they can't just go and plug anything in and away they go. They are there to make your business work for you. They're not there to cost you money. They will eventually cost you money. Okay, coffee, you know, cakes, biscuits, but not because of malware. So look, have a chat to us at BTP. We're very high up there with cybersecurity. Um, we've actually had to recover a lot of people from these things. Uh, nothing worse than sitting there after something's come along and explaining to the user, if you've done these three things, you wouldn't be in the situation you're in now. So don't put yourself in that situation. Now we also offer staff training as well. So we've got some products out there now which will actually test your staff to see how insecure they may be and then send them away for appropriate training. Maybe they're saying the wrong things on Facebook or LinkedIn or maybe they're just doing something silly in an email. But we, we look after all of that sort of stuff as well. So when you think cybersecurity, give us an email. 
drop us a drop us a call. Just ask the questions. Am I doing the right thing? What do you think of this? What do you think of this firewall? Is this backup really going to see me through? Hey, look, my backup's happened, and I know that I now need to recover. What's my disaster recovery plan? Now, if you don't have plans, contact us. If you don't know what notifiable data breach means, contact us. Let us know. We're here to answer your questions. Just drop an email to helpdesk at btponline.com.au or give us a phone call on our help desk. Glad to hear, to hear from you. And uh, you can also just obviously comment in this email, as well, sorry, this Facebook live, and uh, we'll get back to you. Other than that, have a great day.